so we got an adorable email from a young man. The subject line was teen sex drama. Oh, how cute. I think he's like 14 or 15 years old. So he says he doesn't know what's wrong with him. That he thinks about sex all the time. And he masturbates all the time. And he fantasizes about pegging. Sounds which is, like me. <laughs> <laughs> which is anal penetration for a man, if you don't know what that is. Which I had to answer. We, we are, haven't been taking questions, but I had to answer him. You had to. It was so sweet. And I always think of my son, because he's four, but one day he'll be 14 and I'll have these questions. And what will I say? You're practicing. Yeah, in many ways. Yes, yes. So what do you think, Dr. Dodson? What do I think about what? Wanting, thinking about sex all the time. Well, I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means you're human. <laughs> We're all thinking about sex all the time, whether we admit it or not. It's on our minds. It's in our bodies. It's the only reason we're here. What? It's the only reason we're here. Uh, basically. Right? I mean, <laughs> to procreate and die? I mean, that's pretty much it. I have had a, a major run-in with my fantasy life going back to high school. I it's mean, such a beautiful time. Oh. It really is. Don't neg out and think that something you're doing is wrong or awful. It's such a sweet time. And it's one of my brother's boyfriends and I get in the car with him outside in front of the house and we start messing around and it turns out that he has this fabulous penis. My God, it's beautiful. And I want it. Of course. Who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love a good phallus. And we're both virgins, whatever. I mean, we've done everything except penetration is what that I means. think that's what's the most interesting. That makes it so interesting because you were just like, outer course, outer course, the heavy petting, getting yeah. close but not. Mm. The tip sometimes we'd put. Oh, playing at the hole. So much fun. So his name is Nolan. My, my brother's boyfriend. And there's this one episode that really happened. I mean, I can recall quite a bit of it. When I had an argument or something with my mother and I ran out of the house and no one was in the front. So you're all fired up? Really, yeah, he was always fired up. <laughs> he was a tall, funny looking kid. And I don't, he was not popular. That's always the best sex. <laughs> always tall and unpopular. Check. Yeah, yeah. And I fall in his lap crying, oh, oh, oh they don't understand me. And I feel his penis. <laughs> and I go, oh, and it's big. I know we say we, size doesn't matter, but ooh, when they're big. It's exciting. Well, because it's, it's also something that's about taboo and surrender. You're supposed to be scared uh -huh. of big dicks. Yeah. And I end up sitting in on top of him, fucking him. And it was just, oh, so outrageous. And I got up, and I said, you have to drive away from the house. And so You have to go away. Yeah. <laughs> so we drive around the block, and, and we park in front of a house that hasn't been rented. It's, it's blacked out. Mm -hmm. And we have the most marvelous sex. This is the fantasy. And I'm beaten off to it, and I'm getting so hot and horny. And I think, if I could reach Nolan now, I'd send him an email. <laughs> and say, say, thanks, buddy. <laughs> you were one of my favorite fantasies, really. And that's the thing about fantasy. If, if I knew that a man that I was interested in or with was fantasizing about pegging, I, I feel like that's a plus. Oh, definitely. And we were just talking that, like if every man in the world was uncircumcised. And took it up the ass. It, how much better the world would be? Everyone would be more grounded. No more war. Yeah, right? There's something about it 
the most erogenous zone in your body is the prostate and that's in your ass it's like the male clit like that's just yep and there's something about that surrender which is why I'm always attracted to gay men as friends all women are because as women we have to surrender and they understand that and we understand them because they understand that and I'd love to understand straight men on that level but I have to say like 99% of the men that I've been with sexually like a finger in the asshole right across the board they won't say it. They won't ask for it. <laughs> oh, and they'll object. Oh, yeah. And afterwards, they're like, where did you learn to do that? Oh. And they'll make you feel a little guilty. So, so thinking about sex all the time is average. Wanting to masturbate all the time is average. Wanting to be pegged, again, kind of average. Nothing well, wrong uh, with you. Across the board. <laughs> yeah. But what you can do to make it more satisfying, right, what do you think? Shut off the porn. Well, I think when when you masturbate, having a fantasy is very important. Yes, fantasize it's about what being you're thinking and feeling does connect. Mm -hmm. It does connect. Mm -hmm. And then when you masturbate, use some lubricant, get some coconut oil, and then you're gonna learn cum control, which is something all men, right? Oh. Should learn. Oh, they want it. I mean, they want to learn it. It's so what is cum control? Tell us how to break it down. Cum control is being able to get sexually stimulated, turned on, and holding back the orgasm. How do you hold that back, the orgasm? How do well, you do it? Well, how I do it, which is not the same as a penis, but you can get close to it, and then you have to have the ability to pull it back. Now, Masters and Johnson suggested pinching the tip of the penis so you're like right in front of an ejaculation and you pinch <sighs> flex your PC and breathe but that's it you're like coming up to the point where you're about to eject and then pull back you have more control than you think yes yes that's the point point. and they it's say, play and they say oh oh I was so close I couldn't stop you can always stop yeah so yeah. stop come up do that a couple of times and that's what you're learning because what you do in masturbation is what you bring in partner sex. You'll be a better lover. If you practice cum control. So you should be masturbating all the time, right, Dr. Dodson? Yes. <laughs> Tell yes, them. my dear. You should be <laughs> masturbating all the time. You can't masturbate too much unless you're watching tons of porn with a tight grip on your penis uh. and no lubricant and coming really fast. You need to build sex energy, use lubricant, take time conscious masturbation conscious masturbation which includes a mental image well he is fantasizing the whole pegging thing frankly i was like wow i would be so proud if that was my son uh, i know it may sound weird uh -uh. I, not to me i not not to a lot of people either mm -mm. it means you're open and you're willing to make yourself vulnerable mm -hmm. which means you're going to be a good lover hopefully that's the idea. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if it weren't for sexual repression and guilt and way too much porn, using your own mind and your own body <sighs> together at the same time, it's very healing. And it sets you up for a good sex life. It and does. a good life. And if it's a good sex life, it's a good life. If it's a life without sex or it's repression and it's uh-uh no oh terrible set yourself free <laughs> set yourself free <laughs>